So we just saw how to create vectors. Now let's see how to edit them. I first create a couple of vectors. For example, let's say that we want to do in this landscape a sketch for a new flower bed. So I just made some strokes, not even touching some, some, some of them. So in this case, I may select the stroke. And for example, I may have wanted to create a, a, a straight curve. So as you can see, it's very simple to define, for example, changing all that into an arc or into a much, much more regular spline. Please note that you can also snap to other geometry. It will turn green. And you can also add more or less control vertices to a spline. So you can have a lot of flexibility for starting in a simple way and then continue to work. This option here allows us to select two points in the curve at a third point and keep the smooth continuity between those ends and this other line. So it is all about creating very, very smooth geometry without any trouble. Smooth curve is a little of like the opposite because it would allow us to define two points and create a smooth curve that has G2 continuity between those two points. Then we may also need to straighten the curve. So let's go back to a previous state and let's see that now by selecting those two points, we can straighten the curve between those points. The next option is more like a blending of two curves. So I can define points in two different curves and have again smooth continuity between them just like a blend in AutoCAD. And the other one, it's very interesting because you can restroke a curve. So just make some strokes next to a vector and the vector will try to react according to those strokes. So that's very similar to what we would probably do when we are sketching by hand. Other things we need to understand, for example, is we can either select uh, whole segments or select parts of segments or even select tails of segments because in this case, it's great for deleting them, as, as you can see. The last option I want to show now is how to duplicate vectors. So in this particular case, there's this tool that will allow you to select a vector and create something like an offset of it without pretty much any extra work. So there you go. Ways of editing vectors in Sketchbook Designer. Thank you.